So we at the Freescale Technology Forum here in Orlando, and uh, you're showing uh, Ubuntu 10.4 uh, running on the Freescale IMX51. Yes. So this is a actually a ODM design, uh, ODM Pegatron. Uh, this is a prototype design. Uh, IMX51 inside, no fans, very thin, light, and this is Ubuntu Netbook Remix running on the IMX51. So you can see here, um, for the IMX51 specifically and, and other ARM vendors, we have a special 2D version uh, of the Netbook Remix launcher. So it's very quick, very fast, very nice, very pop. pop. So You're actually running, uh, you're gonna load Chromium. Yes, I'm actually loading Chromium. That's Chromium loaded up, obviously. I'm not connected to anything. Yeah. But this form factor is like uh, the most awesome one could uh, imagine oh, yes. to have, right? For a laptop. Oh yeah, this is very it's nice. So awesome. You know, thin, light. Uh, you know, you get this in a couple colors, be very sexy. So the software optimizations that you are doing at Canonical yes. to make it work is really the key here to yes. actually get this to consumers. Yes. So we're working closely with Freescale specifically and other ARM vendors uh, to optimize for ARM V9. Uh, I mean, Cortex A9. Uh, yeah next generation processors that will really make this snap. Right now this is a Cortex-A8 processor, but when Cortex-A9 comes around you'll really see these snap like this very quick, very fast. But how about uh, Cortex-A8? Would you oh. say it's going to be fast enough for uh, a whole range of consumers to oh, actually yeah. use? Yeah, I think Cortex-A8 will be very fast, though I, I think most believe that Cortex-A9 is really what they want to go out with. Um, that's multi-core yeah. and really, you know, faster I.O. A lot of things were learned from these processors. They were, you know, they were designed well, but not really for, you know, netbook type processing. So now with A8, they've kind of learned a lot of lessons and have all that in the processor. So uh, you, you work at Canonical? Yes. So you're actually seeing the the, the prototypes, the totally top secret prototypes? Yes. It takes A9 super designs and it's just amazing, no? Yes. No, there's some amazing stuff coming around. I think you'll like it a lot. <laughs> and uh, so, so right here, could you explain a little bit, uh, since uh, 10 point, uh, 9.10 unarmed, okay. what has happened with, between 9.10 and 10.4? So with 10.4 specifically, it's actually optimized for ARM v7 now, so taking advantage of a lot of the ARM v7 instruction set that uh, will be used. Actually, what we're going to have here is a, another version, um, it's 7.04, uh, 7, 7.10. Uh, that will be coming around. So the, the, there's a different ARM version coming of uh, Ubuntu. What do, you, what do you mean 7.10? Yes, mean? so 10.04. You have 10.04 for x86. 10.04 yes. x86. But uh, ARM is going to have a 10.7. 10 10.7. 10 which what will be mean? in July. July. Yeah, July. So this is going to be uh, cool. So this is 10.4 so for x86. x86. And you can see a lot of 10.04, but the ARM version is going to come out in and like you know a little bit after so the 7 10 7 so this is netbook edition optimized for uh, 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 like 2d the, the 2d version of that so it's yes. fast snappy yes. and how about the uh, ram how much ram would you recommend um, so this has only 512 max right here yeah but it's a 1 gigahertz part uh, definitely recommend you know a gig of memory but this runs really really well with only 512 max and actually you can see this device here You've already seen, you've probably seen it in other places in the conference, yeah. but this is the follow-on to the uh, Sharp Netwalker yeah. around, that you've seen around. So and this is running 10.4, right? Uh, this one is probably running something. 8, I think this is running 8.04, actually. 8.04? So, yeah, so Sharp is very specific on what they wanted, but they've actually added some very, let me get this yeah. going. I've got another video of the... Oh, you got another, the, what, yeah. Netwalker? Yeah. Well, apparently I have... Yes. Yeah, this one. We'll edit in the other, <laughs> the other part. But um, this is this is a, the coolest, the cool oh. form. Sorry, the cool yeah. form factor that people are waiting for, and yes. uh, it'd be cool. It'd be cool to see to see like uh, the the browser open fast and stuff like that. Is that dependent on RAM? If yep. you want to open the browser fast uh, or um, RAM and uh, processing speed. So you can see Chromium load up really quick, and since I had it connected, as you know, connects to the web, so we can just you know. Anywhere shop. Yeah, I mean, very quick, very nice web experience. Nice. Um, that's pretty awesome. And how about IMX53? Are you that's, testing that out? Well? Yes. Yeah, so, so I think that's what you're going to see a lot of folks with these babies uh, with IMX53s. Yeah. Those are definitely going to be. They have faster RAM. Faster RAM, multi-core. 
all those things. So I think you'll see a lot of designs with the IMAX 53. Cool. But as you can see, the IMAX 51 works actually really, really well, especially with Google, Google Chromium. Yeah. Um, Wouldn't it be cool to have some of these for one ninety nine and Best Buy and Walmart and all you that? You never know. Yeah. You never know. We'll, we'll see what happens in the future. <laughs> cool.